Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about overloading in real time. So in our previous video, we have discussed about uh, how to use method overloading and constructor overloading in Java. In case if you haven't watched that video, so the video link is available in the description. So please watch that videos first and then you can watch this video so that it will be a clear understanding. So now let us get into this uh, video. So already we know what is overloading. So overloading is nothing but a same name. It may be a method name or maybe a constructor. A same name but the functionality will be the different. And how the compiler will identify identifying the overloaded method it is identifying the overloaded method or a constructor with the help of argument different so programmatically already we have discussed method overloading and constructor overloading so now we are going to see what is the real-time usage of overloading in java let me take one simple scenario. So let us take a class. Let it be mobile. Let me take this uh, mobile phone class. And in this mobile phone class, I'm going to apply a overloading concept. So already, you know, by using mobile class or mobile phone object, I can make a call so if you remember our old days mobile so the old days mobile is supporting or the old days mobile was supporting only the voice call just uh, making an empty classes so now in case of our old mobile phone so there was a calling functionality so which was supporting only voice call but later they have added extra functionality to the calling function Nothing but conference call. So now you can look at my mobile phone class. I have a method call with two time but the argument list is different so already we know so in case of overloading the argument list must be the different so that may be a number of argument or it can be a type of argument you can look at the first call method it is with the type voice call and the second call method with the type of conference call. Right. And later, so they may, sorry, uh, later they have added a, another functionality for calling, which will support video call. So now you can look at my overloaded method. So here inside mobile phone class, call is a overloaded method. Whereas the method name is same, but the argument list is different. So the first call method will support only voice call. And the second call method is supporting conference call as well. And the third call method is supporting 
video call as well right so i hope you are getting some idea about real time usage of overloading so finally in real time so what we are doing in case of overloading so initially the object will come with some initial functionality later based on the demand or based on the requirement we may add some extra functionality to the object you can look at the scenario so our old phone was supporting only voice call so later they have added an extra functionality so overloading in the sense we are not replacing anything so we are adding an extra functionality in it so later they have added a video call functionality so finally this is the real time usage of overloading so i'm, I'm summarizing the point once again so overloading in the sense name will be the same for example let us take method overloading so name will be the same i mean the method name will be the same but the functionality will be the different so inside this so they have a functionality for voice call and let me make one system.out.println so that i can complete this code let me say i will support voice call this one i will say i will support so this one i will say i will support video call you can look at the code mobile phone code i have a method call i have defined this method three times with same name but the argument list is different also the functionality is different so initially my mobile phone was supporting only voice call later they have added an extra functionality so please mark my word adding an extra functionality that is the aim of overloading so later they have added an extra functionality conference call and again they have added extra functionality video call supporting so finally in real time so you can take any scenario so you will get into this one so today i may work on one technology and tomorrow i may want to add some extra functionality into that right so in those kind of scenario so we will be going for overloading actually over uh, uh, let us understand one point very clear so overloading is not replacing anything it will keep the old one old functionality as well as we are adding a extra functionality into that object so that is the main aim of overloading so let us complete this code we know that overloading is based on argument list different the compiler will identify the relevant overloader method with the help of argument list different let me create an object of my mobile phone let me say the mobile phone is Nokia and by using that object i can call my overloaded method let it be call but i need to pause the argument different for example i will say i am pausing voice call object i'm just trying to display the complete the program I'm just pausing the object of voice call and conference call and video call.
Oh friends, so let us run our code and we'll verify our output also. Okay, so we are getting output in an expected manner. So this is a real time usage of overloading. So I'm summarizing the point once again. So by using overloading, we are adding extra functionality. We are not replacing anything. So we will keep the old functionality as well as we are adding extra functionality into that object. So this is nothing but overloading and this is how we are using in the real time. The same way you can take any scenario. Let us take a human being. So in case of human being, so we have a functionality talk. So talk is the common functionality, right? But based on the opposite person, the way of talking will be the different. For example, I when I talk with a stranger, I may talk differently. Right? The same way when I want to talk with my manager, I may talk differently. And same way when I want to talk with my housemates, then the way of talking will be the different. So finally you can see this is also another scenario for overloading. The same way, let us take one more scenario. For example, assume that you are going to search a product in an eCart website. So the functionality is such. But I may search by using product ID or I may search by using a product name. So like this, there are many real-time scenarios and examples. So hope friends, we are clear about the real-time usage of overloading in Java. So thanks friends for watching this video. So if you like this video, so please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that as soon as I upload the new video, you will be getting the notification. Also, you can share it with your friends.